on my demo. Did y'all boys not get the memo? I do not stay at the Intercontinental. And anything I got is not a rental. I own that motherfucker. Figure it out, this shit is simple. My name is Mike Kernow. I'm going to be talking about uh, INTOT security convergence. Got to keep them separated, the words of offspring. Wait, but do we though? Maybe not so much. A cyber to physical IT convergence. It was, yes, the moment that we've all came here for. So, why we're at B Side 2019 right now. The intermediate guide to navigating Active Directory. Um, no, nah, I'm, I'm kidding, but the rest of the presentation is going to be that much more interesting. So set the bar low. Yeah. Anywho's, uh, but yeah, uh, so welcome to let's get cyber physical, learn it, see it, secure it by yours truly. Wait for it. Okay, that's me. Uh, so, um, I have 60 minutes to cover a lot of shit, so I'm going to be speaking pretty quickly at some points. Um, so I'm going to just get that out there beforehand. Uh, so who am I? My name is Mike Kerno. I do a lot of software development in my free time. I spend a lot of time exercising. However, that doesn't help me on these stairs. Uh, I play a lot of Xbox, um, Halo 5. Play a ton of video games. Uh, I don't really get art. I'm recently an ordained priest by the Church of Latter-day Dude, for those who follow Dudism. I'm an avid football fan. I kind of feel like I'm going to lose like 90% of you when I tell you what team. Or I could just sit back and collect all the adulation. Um, I... Oh no, I didn't expect this. The professional side, the got my start in financial technology. I uh, worked as a software integration engineer uh, for a financial uh, tech company. And uh, basically I was writing code to do things that would now be used for Magecar, uh, which is the injection of um, front side code that uh, scrapes payment information, sends it to a place. I wrote it in a way that sent it to a financing platform that would you know, run your eligibility and, and fraud checks through different lenders, that kind of thing. The chief information officer at RapidCat, and uh, that's probably the most professional you're ever gonna see me on camera, captured ever. Uh, so RapidCat, who we are, is uh, we are a financial analytics uh, platform and we aim to disrupt the Forex binary market by lowering the intellectual barrier to entry so that anybody with a couple brain cells can really do some good work here and tap into the biggest market. Uh, lead Security Operations Center architect at uh, Block Harbor, which is a, uh, a cybersecurity firm based out of Detroit, Michigan. And uh, we, have, we, we have a heavy concentration in the cyber to physical realm, so that's your automotive, your IoT, and your industrial control system operation technology. The former head of cybersecurity services at Sam Analytics, and a former psychological operations specialist in the Army under USASOC. Uh, that's me, same guy, just uh, no scarf. Just kind of a little bit about my security experience. Um, I've done red team side, right? Like we've all done pen testing in some form or another. So pretty much everything that ranges from a, a Saner network to web application, mobile application for things like um, everything from IAM management platforms, uh, banking platforms, uh, hotel financing, really any, any not everything, but a lot of things. Uh, I've done blue side too, so uh, I eventually got into the engineering side, specifically developing a custom in-house SOC utilizing Elastic Stack and then being able to integrate that with other in-house tools, creating a, a pretty good functioning SOC uh, from that. And so some of the positions I've held in that space is engineer, uh, analyst, and uh, team lead. So right now I actually lead a team of two analysts. Um, and then right now I'm lead architect. So what that means is uh, being able to, like basically what I do for Black Harbor is I handle all, I create an architecture um, 
for how to set people up with our SOC, and then I turned that architecture into working infrastructure. So all the plumbing, all the connecting, uh, all that stuff is, is what I do. And uh, where um, I make my bones at nowadays is uh, industrial control systems, cyber physical devices. So um, I got my start actually. The first job I ever had with cyber physical assessment was a piece of uh, uh, major metropolitan public transport, right? My first time ever. But uh, I rolled with it and it actually turned out really well. And so that kind of lit the fire, you know, the passion of cyber to physical security. Uh, so I, I also do a lot of research in uh, industrial, con uh, industrial control system and operational technology security integration. Um, basically, how to secure cyber to physical systems. Um, I'm using a lot of repetitive phrases, I'm sorry, uh, or not. And automated tank gauges, so um, gas stations that use automated tank gauges plug this stuff right up to the internet for some reason. Um, uh, what I'm going to be talking about today, uh, cyber physical technology, what it is, uh, why it's important, or what role it plays in our lives today. Uh, the problem, which is security. Security is the problem, or lack thereof, you dig? Uh, facets of cyber physical security. So basically, going over the uh, uh, the different realms of cyber uh, cyber physical security, um, and then we're going to be looking at Internet of Medical Things. We're going to be looking at automotive, like connected cars. Uh, we're going to be looking at industrial control systems. It wouldn't be a Mike Kerno talk if I didn't beat the dead horse on ICS and then beat the dead horse of its next of kin multiple times. Uh, then we're going to do attack scenarios, and uh, it's a combination between some demos and movies I have, uh, doing I IOMT, automotive, ICS, and then we're going to talk about some uh, perspective ways or ideas or mindsets or notional concepts, whatever abstract term you want to assign to it, uh, ways to secure these. So these are just to kind of get you in that mind space. What I won't talk about, um, can you guys see that? Good. Okay. Because uh, I don't want you to read it. It's, it's, literally, <laughs> it's literally just a list of very minute, granular uh, regulations and compliances that if you're even fathoming putting your stuff on the internet, you should have all these covered. Uh, the problem is I see it from a professional standpoint. Um, there's a large influx of companies that want to be um, industry relevant. So, uh, what that what, what happens? I got ahead of myself. What happens is uh, they want to meet the needs for communications management analysis, right? Uh, so companies that they utilize cyber to physical technology will put their stuff on the internet haphazardly, not trying to be disingenuous, just you know, trying to meet a need and, and increase convenience. Um, uh, Starts off with the organization putting their stuff on the internet. Is this ITOT convergence? Just imagine there's a question mark there. I forgot to add that in. Um, and then that turns into the organization. The organization and the ball is a cybersecurity, right? So the ball's been dropped. Like lots of balls have been dropped by lots of organizations. The ball's been dropped. Um, and then they end up falling flat on their face. Mm hmm that's what happens. <laughs> um, so to get into uh, some scary stats, um, I leveraged uh, Shodan just like 20 minutes to gather uh, some numbers here so I can try and relay. Um, so first up, uh, we were able to find 23,000 uh, PLC devices that were using the Modbus communication protocol. This is a PLC that's open, or this is a Modbus device that's open. So we're going to be working with the tool uh, that I built to actually help me with my very first uh, SCADA security assessment. Uh, it's called Rapid Fire. The reason I called it Rapid Fire uh, was because I needed to address a need to test multiple holding registers addresses at once. The socket tool that I was using can only handle one of these, so I had to create a small Python script that would just automate given a list of addresses. And I'd turn it into a tool because of free time, so. I uh, just keep your eye on the right side of the screen. All right? So that's all your PLC configurations gone. So I wanted to wish you all a uh, early, early holidays here. 
um, because everybody gets rapid fire. Fingers crossed, okay. That's good. Um, commit and, and then. <laughs> okay, so that's good. Um, shit, uh, This is one of the few things that have seemingly worked. Wait, I'm not going to talk too soon. Okay, there we go. So we have, if I refresh this right here, should be able to see it. Oh, golly gee, there we go. All right. So, yeah, I. this isn't just me being nice. I actually need help with, with this. So. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, cool. All right. Yeah, that's it. Thank you very much. <laughs> Done. Um, Thanks, Mike. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no problem.